So I said, Jim, if you keep making these cuts, we're gonna have a union on our hands. The guy is just a total idiot, Nance. What did I tell you? You listening? Huh? I'm trying to tell you about work. Jim. I know you hate Jim. What do you want me to say? Oh, I'm sorry your day was bad while you were out earning money to keep us up the streets, honey. Anything I can possibly do to help? Something like that, something a supportive wife might say. Supportive wife? I run this house while you're away, which, by the way, is every day. I'm not your fucking therapist, Bill. So what, you're telling me you don't go out too? Is that what you're trying to tell me? What is it, do you think I'm a fucking idiot? You're crazy. I'm crazy? Yeah. I'm crazy? Mm hmm Forget it. Pass the bread, will you? Thank you. I gotta get out of here, bro. I gotta go for a walk. A walk? Come on, what about dessert? What is this fucking dine and dash? I need some air. Oh, some air? Why didn't you say if you just wanted some fucking air? Is there not enough for you in here? Nothing pleases you, woman. Don't wait up, Bill. I've got a key. Grant? Hi. Bill Cooper. Yeah, look, I... I don't know, it's Nancy. She... Uh, she's been acting out lately. She's gone out in the evening twice this week. And there's always an excuse. Tonight it was that she needed some fucking air. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, well, she ain't mentioned nothing. I see. Well, anyway, look, you've been a good friend to me. Can I call in a favor? Monday night. She told me she's meeting an old friend. Didn't say who, I didn't pry. I appreciate it, buddy. Okay, I, I owe you, Grant. All right, okay. Goodbye. Grant, hi, thanks for coming down. No, I, feel, I really appreciate it. Uh, it's too dark in here? Yeah, it's too dark. Are you gonna shut the door? Yeah, sorry. Okay. But I was just saying it's too dark. I, I wanted lamps, but they came with this fucking big window. I, I don't like it very much. Do you, do you want coffee or food? No, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. All right. Please, sit down. Thanks for this. I just... No, I understand. Uh, now, look. 
Listen, I, uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but, uh, well, just take a look. You know who this guy is? I know a lot of people. It's Manhattan. You know, if, if this were Alaska, we'd be talking. You know, if Manhattan had the same population density of Alaska, there would only be 15 people living here. Let's just be logical about this for a second, okay? So she has a friend who happens to be a guy, right? So what? So that's all she's doing, right? She's just seeing a friend. He's a capo, Bill. A made man in the Lower East Side. Whatever your wife is up to, well, I'd, I'd stay out of it. Stay out of it? My wife is getting cozy with a killer, and you want me to stay out of it? Well, it's either that or you get yourself whacked. I can talk to her. Do you trust her? She's my wife. Do you trust her knowing what you know now? So I, I go to the police then? That would be your worst nightmare, Bill. They have guys everywhere. So what, I just pretend nothing's going on? Look, these are very dangerous individuals, Bill. Once you brush past all these people, there's no going back. My advice, just stay out of it and go home to your wife. So what, we just... We, we got to find out what Nancy's doing with this guy ourselves. What time do you call this? Dinner time, Jesus. You said dinner's at eight. It's eight. It's ten past eight. Jesus, Nancy, it's ten minutes past. That's not real time. You know, eight o'clock, quarter past, half past, those are real times. You know, who the hell is on time at ten past anyway? You know, time doesn't exist. Ten past is not real. Are you drunk? Yeah, I'm drunk. <laughs> Pass the salad, would you? Shut up on our doorstep for you.
Jesus, Grant. Why are you sitting in the dark? You could have called. You didn't need to send me a letter. Grant? Thank you.